she seems to be asking an awful lot. But then, I don't know. Somebody has to pay for Sai's funeral. Uh -huh. His own estate is in probate, but why does it have to be me? Or is it wrong to complain? Judy says it is. But I'm so strapped for cash right now, carrying the mortgage and paying for the Jolly Roger, and I wrecked the car, and Danny's bar mitzvah coming up. I, Something like I, this I, is never a good time. I, I don't know where it all leaves me. Size deaf. Obviously, it's not going to go back like it was. Hmm. Would you even want that, Larry? No, I, well, yeah. Sometimes. Or, I don't know. I guess the honest answer is, I don't know. What was my life before? Not what I thought it was. So what does it all mean? What is Hashem trying to tell me, making me pay for Cy Abelman's funeral? Mm. And did I tell you I had a car accident the same time Cy had his? The same instant, for all I know. Mm. I mean, is Hashem trying to tell me that Cy Abelman is me? Or that we are all one or something? How does God speak to us? A good question. You know Lee Sussman. Dr. Sussman? I think I, yeah. Did he ever tell you about the goy's teeth? No. Uh, what goy? So, Lee is at work one day. You know he has the orthodontic practice there at Great Bear. He's making a plaster mold. It's for corrective bridge work in the mouth of one of his patients, Russell Krauss. The mold dries, and Lee is examining it one day before fabricating an appliance. He notices something unusual. There appears to be something engraved on the inside of the patient's lower incisors. Hevav Shin Yud, Ayan Nun Yud, Hoshi Eni, help me, save me. This, in a goy's mouth, Larry. He calls the goy back on the pretense of needing additional measurements for the appliance. How are you? Noticed any other problems with your teeth? No. There it is. Oh, she ain't. Help me. Son of a gun. Sussman goes home. Can Sussman eat? Sussman can't eat. Can Sussman sleep? Sussman can't. Sussman looks at the molds of his other patients, Goy and Jew alike. Seeking other messages, he finds none. He looks in his own mouth. Nothing. He looks in his wife's mouth. Nothing. But Sussman is an educated man. Not the world's greatest sage, maybe. No Rabbi Marshak. But he knows a thing or two about the Zohar and the Kabbalah. He knows that every Hebrew letter has its numeric equivalent. Eight, four, five, four, four, seven, three. Seven digits, a phone number maybe. Hello, do you know a goy named Kraus, Russell Kraus? Who? Where have I called? The Red Owl in Bloomington, thanks so much. He goes. It's a Red Owl. Groceries, what have you. Sussman goes home. What does it mean? He has to find out if he is ever to sleep again. He goes to see the Rabbi Nachner. He comes in, he sits right where you're sitting right now. What does it mean, Rabbi? Is it a sign from Hashem? Help me? I, Sussman, should be doing something to help this guy. Doing what? The teeth don't say. 
Or, or maybe I'm supposed to help people generally lead a, a more righteous life. Is the answer in Kabbalah and Torah? Or is there even a question? Tell me, Rabbi, what can such a sign mean? So, what did you tell him? Sussman? Yes. Is it relevant? Well, isn't that why you're telling me? Okay. Not who says, look, the teeth, we don't know. A sign from Hashem, don't know. Helping others, couldn't hurt. No, no, but who put it there? Was it for him, Sussman, or for whoever found it, or for just, for, for... We can't know it? everything. It sounds like you don't know anything. Why even tell me the story? <laughs> First I should tell you, then I shouldn't. What happened to Sussman? What would happen? Not much, he went back to work. For a while, he checked every patient's teeth for new messages. He didn't find any. In time, he found he stopped checking. He returned to life. These questions that are, that are bothering you, Larry, maybe they're like a toothache. Feel them for a while, then they go. I don't want it to just go away. I want an answer. Sure. We all want the answer. Hashem doesn't owe us the answer, Larry. Hashem doesn't owe us anything. The obligation runs the other way. Why does he make us feel the questions if he's not going to give us any answers? <laughs> he hasn't told me. <laughs>